Jane, and thanks for talking to us as always. I mean, what a night, what a, a ton of great performances, but I've got to start with John Jones and Dominic Reyes. Really, really close fight. We didn't know which way it would go. And I know you don't score fights, you've, you've said that enough times, but just before that decision was read, did you have an inkling as to which way you thought it would go? Yeah, I had it three to one. Uh, I had it three to one Reyes going into the last round. Um, you know, but Joe Sova, our, our, our former matchmaker, had it a draw coming out of that fight. Um, and other guys, uh, you know, that worked for us had Jones winning by one round. So this thing was sort of all over the map. Yeah. But what it all comes down to is none of us are judges. So it really doesn't matter what any of us think. Um, one you know, judge scored it for, I, four to John. One of the judges scored it four rounds to John. Yeah. We, you know, we've had, we've had problems in Texas. And, and, you know, Texas is one of those states where they like to use their own. But a lot of these guys don't have big fight experience, and it's unfortunate that that, that you know th there were some judging issues tonight. There were some roughing issues too, um, and all we can do is Mark Ratner and Hunter Campbell continue to work with these commissions and and try to fix these problems. You know, there's so much at stake for these guys, and ju I just hate to see that that kind of stuff happen. You know, but it doesn't take away from the fact John Jones made history tonight, 14th. Say, say what you want about John Jones. John Jones finds a way to win fights, you know. And you can you can go the other way and, and look and say, Do Dominic Reyes, is this seriously going on right now while our while we're interviewing? <laughs> D Dominic Reyes, uh, you know, was running the last two rounds. And and there's a lot of people that have that old school. You got to take it from the champion. You got to go in there and take it from him. Um, so there's many different yeah. ways to look at this fight and how uh, uh, you know these rounds are judged. Um, yeah, Dominic was so impressive. I think and a lot of people we knew he'd knock people out, but everybody says until you face John Jones, you know that all tends to go out the window. But it didn't for him tonight. Huh? No, it did not. And one of the big problems about this fight going into it, I said, you know, for the casual fans, they don't realize how good Dominic Reyes really is and what a huge threat he is to John Jones. Not to mention the fact that this kid's only been out of the um, first round four times. Tonight was the fourth time. You know, he knocks everybody out in the first round. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, super impressive. Sorry about the, the buzzing going is? around. Yeah, they're, they're clearing it's up behind us. It's driving me crazy. Okay, we're trying, we're trying to overcome that noise. Um, talking about what's next for John Jones, obviously they're both pretty banged up. They need to recover. But do you see John the Jones just walked by with ice packs all over his legs. <laughs> And they just carry Dominic Reyes by us. So, when, when you know when when you're fortunate enough like we are to be backstage for this stuff, that's when you know you just saw an incredible fight. We did indeed. And do you do you think once he's recovered, etc., are we looking at a rematch at some point between those two? Or do you think John are going to want to go straight up to that heavyweight division and take on maybe Stipe Miocic? I'm going to tell you this. Um, you know, John Jones is, is the greatest to ever do it. He, he he had a huge challenge in front of him tonight. He overcame it. Call it what you want to, he won, yeah. right? And, um, you know, I, I, the way that I know John Jones, I'm sure Joan wants to challenge himself again and, and, and prove to the world that he can beat Dominic Reyes. All right, so you're, you're predicting a rematch? Huh? You're predicting their rematch? Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, that's, that's not what I, I don't even think about that tonight. Um, you let these guys go home, you let them both rest, heal up. Then we'll talk about what's next. Do I think that Dominic Reyes deserves a rematch? I do. Talk about Valentina Shevchenko as well. I mean, she is so dominant and such a classy performer in there. I mean, what she did tonight just, just showed that. She's amazing. She's an absolute professional. She looks better every time she comes out. Um, I mean, I just can't say enough good things about her. Yeah. If you look at our 135-pound champion, GOAT, 125-pound champion, right behind her, I mean, right there, and a 115-pound champion, absolute savage. I mean, all three of the women who hold belts right now are, are incredible. And, and one of the fights that I'm the most excited about this year, of all the fights that we have, is Weili Zhang versus Joanna Yeo and Jacek. I can't wait for this fight, and um, I'm so excited. Well, that same night, we've got Romero and Adesanya, okay? And we saw some backflips, we saw some dancing, etc. at the press conference. I mean, is that a fight you're excited about as well? And well, you, your face was the best part of that, actually, when Romero yeah. did the split. Yeah, he scared me. I didn't know what the hell was going on. 
But yeah, obviously another great fight. Israel Adesanya looks unbelievable. The fact that he wants to fight Yo Romero when he doesn't have to is just legendary. So uh, that's a great card. Super excited yeah. for it. And uh, yeah. And then we want to talk about Jared Cannonier as well. Obviously, Darren Till's name's been put in the mix there to fight him. No word yet as to whether a contract get done to, to get Darren in to step in for Robert Whittaker. I honestly Whitaker. don't know the answer to that question right here, right now. Alrighty. And what about UFC London? We've got the main event. Any news on a co-main? Not yet. Alrighty. No. But that, that thing sold out. The main event's going to be awesome. And uh, yeah, London's always good. Yeah. It's always good fun. And my last word on Conor McGregor. Um, we've obviously got Tony and Habib. Are you going to have him there in case things kind of fall out or don't happen? Yeah, yeah no, he's not going to be there. I mean, yeah. Conor's ready to slide into that slot. Oh, sorry, I mean, yeah, I meant if, for example, things yeah, fall yeah, out yeah. before. No, yeah. Conor, Conor fought at 170 and fought at the beginning of the year because he wanted to be able to cut and make that weight if those two fall out, if one of those two fall out. For sure. And in terms of what could be next for Connor if that doesn't happen, potentially Usman and Masvidal international fight week. Not fights happening. The, okay. the Connor's not fighting either one. <laughs> so, so then does it make sense that it's Nate Diaz 3? I don't know. Right. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> he, he's focused on Habib. He wants the Habib yeah. fight. You think he'll wait for that? I do. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, thank but you. But you never it. know with him. We'll see. <laughs> but you. I have no answers for you right now about him. I mean, he really just fought. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he's now watching Habib and Tony to see what happens. And you with yourself and, um, you know, Lorenzo and Connor, you always go out for your, your drinks and your dinner after the fight. Yeah. Just talk to us a little bit about the mood. Obviously, happy mood Connor was in, but, you know, where he's awesome. at. We had a blast. It's good to see Connor physically, mentally, and emotionally in a good place again. You could tell he was happy to be here. He was happy to be fighting, and he looked unbelievable. So, yeah, it was a good time. And, you know, um, it's always awesome when we can get back together with Lorenzo you know so it was great and hopefully we'll see him fight many more times coming up in the near future what's that hopefully we'll see him in the octagon many more times in the near future me too yeah thank you <laughs> always a lot of fun thank you Daniel all right Thanks.